squad car then intentionally ran that car into an officer standing near the curb. The officer's injuries are non life threatening. Police are searching for the second offender. A mother and father quit their jobs and left Chicago. They didn't do it for fun. They did it to save something very precious. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross has more on a family who traveled to find hope. If moving into a house is a fluid process, consider this unpacking. <sighs> My son's clothes. One step toward feeling at home for Kristen Skinderi, husband yeah. Ozzy, and 14 month old <laughs> baby Nixon. His Santa outfit. <laughs> All are temporarily staying at Kristen's mom's in Des Plaines. It's not nap time yet, buddy. It is their first weekend back after a frightening journey beginning with what doctors told them was a death sentence. They said, enjoy your son because he will probably not live past the age of three. About nine months ago, the family learned Nixon had Gaucher's disease. That's when the body lacks an enzyme leading to organ damage. It can be as fatal as it is rare. He's like one of 12 in the world. But rather than move towards mourning, over the past several months, the couple moved from place to place to save their son. We went to a children's hospital in Cincinnati, Ohio. We lived in Loyola. The only real places we visited were hospitals. We lived in Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. There, doctors performed an umbilical cord stem cell transplant. The process included chemotherapy, killing the disease, but also Nixon's ability to fight off infection. The transplant offered a way to rebuild what Gaucher's and treatment destroyed. That's my guy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> it also rebuilt a family's sense of hope. There's nothing showing that he has Gaucher's disease anymore. The next move they hope to make is even further away from a deadly disease. So surreal to be back here in Chicago. The skin dairies are not calling this a cure. Because of the rarity of Nixon's case, doctors aren't sure what his future holds. What they have said, his life expectancy is now greater than age three. His parents hoping to be part of it for much, much longer than that. Did they give any indication? I mean, we know there's no sign now, but what's next? When will he be tested again? He, he will have weekly doctor appointments, of course, monitoring his health. And if that disease comes back again, they are hoping that they are far away from that. And we wish them the best of luck. Absolutely. Sure Thank do. you, Jeremy. Thank you, Jeremy. Well, they put their lives on the line.